Welcome back to the Hartford Civic Center. I'm Ken Brew along with Mike Galloway as we continue on with the Battle of the Monster Trucks. And right there at center field are the relics that will soon be reduced to rubble because, Mike, we not only have a barefoot truck here tonight, we've got a barefoot truck with some wild wheels on it. We saw it in the open. Well, this is all new. Barefoot racer. And, uh, you know, when Fred Schaefer comes out, he comes out strong. But this is Goliath. Let's take a look at the vital statistics of Alan Torres' truck. Alan from Warren, Ohio, up near the Youngstown area. And as you can see, 500 horsepower. But look at how high up that truck sits. 12 feet, 6 inches, almost as wide as it is high, and a gross weight of 18,000 pounds. And not one, but two supercharged Ford motors. One in the front, one in the back for Goliath. on over it. Ooh, that doesn't show good. The two left-hand tires are trying to move, but the two right-hand tires aren't trying to go. Now we've got them to come around and hook up. A one pass over the cars, and Goliath will come back for another. I think what's interesting is you have a hard rubber tire on this truck and then a softer rubber tire and a thinner tire on uh, the barefoot truck that we'll see in just a moment. Well, two completely different designs. Fred's designed for racing, quick, agile. Allen's is a truck truck. Oh, man. It is a heavy piece of equipment. Allen says he toured almost a half million miles with this truck. Is that a been around uh, around the continent several times and as barefoot racer rolls out onto the track let's go down to our own mike galloway who's got the inside look on this truck with the fat tires mike i'm with fred schaefer and fred schaefer is always innovative in this sport and fred this thing is completely out of the ordinary for a monster truck yeah we got about two years of thought in this truck and it's all fiberglass it weighs in between eight and nine thousand pounds it's got a, a big motor in it, and uh, we got a lot of faith in this truck. Now, Fred, eight to 9,000 pounds, that's almost half the weight of a normal monster truck. Where did you lose all the weight? Well, we lost about 1,500 in these new tires that we're experimenting with. Uh, the fiberglass body is real light, aluminum firewall, aluminum floorboards, and uh, just tried to make it as light, as strong as possible. Now, I've noticed something else that you're trying to skim over and not say anything about, but I've uh, been kind of looking a little bit. The rear ends, they're not the top loaders. No, this is something we're trying, and some of the pulling guys has helped me with this a little bit. Uh, this is a 106 Rockwells, and uh, they're about 500 pounds a piece lighter than the old five tons, and there's a lot of advantages to using this, and, and so far they've held up real well. How long have you had the truck out, Fred? Uh, this is the third week for it. What is the biggest difference between the barefoot racer and barefoot? I guess uh, horsepower per pound is the biggest thing, and we've got a Linko and a slipper clutch in here that we're experimenting with. I'm kind of learning to have to drive it again, so I'm, I'm kind of learning to drive a little bit. I need a few more weeks in the truck to really uh, get competitive with it. I've never seen the time that I thought Fred Schaefer ever needed any extra time in a truck to get competitive. He's always on top. The brand new barefoot racer will keep him there. Is that right? All fiberglass, new setup on it. It, it is just, it could be the thing of the future. And he's lowered the truck. He's got the body down. The motor is further down inside of it. And he's lost a lot of weight on the tires themselves. They're very, they're thin tires. They're not very thick tires. They're an experimental tire. Uh-huh. And uh, there's Fred. These tires and wheels weigh about 600 pounds a piece, and that was steel wheels. So he could probably get them down to four and a half or something like that with the aluminum. But it's all new. Oh! Slipper clutch. He's got a new setup on the clutch, the transmission. Everything is brand new in this truck, and it's all, as it says right there on the side of it, that's the key. Barefoot racer.
Budweiser U.S. Hot Rod Truck Bowl Championships featuring the Battle of the Monster Trucks has been brought to you by Budweiser. Beachwood Age for that distinctively clean, crisp taste that makes Budweiser the king of beers. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Now, speaking for my partner, Mike Galloway, and our producer-director, Tom Williamson, this is Ken Brew reminding you that this has been a presentation of Bud Sports, aired through the facilities of ESPN. So long, everybody.